I race to score a my reward. Gripped in hands at my command is a powerful secret. Zapped Again is a 1990 teen sex comedy sequel directed by Doug Campbell and Jake Hooker and starring Todd Eric Andrews, Kelly Williams, Red Rudy, Maria McCann, David Donash, Ira Hyden, Lyle Alzado, Karen Black, and Linda Blair. The film opens with a beverage and hello there. Look, I can explain everything, Mom. I just had to pick up some papers. I think. Has Mr. Patterson called? No. I'm just about ready to close a deal. And I am shocked that it was all a dream. Kevin heads out and it's the usual credits over the first day of school hijinks and upskirts. Hey, how you guys doing? I'm Kevin. I'm kind of new around here. I thought maybe I could offend you in some way. No one gives a shit. Oh, don't do it. He puts some moves on Amanda, but gets shot down by her boyfriend Wayne and his henchman Cecil, leading to the Battle of the Stonewashed. Lyle Alzado! Kevin gets taken to the principal for a shot of exposition about moving a lot. Uh, it, it says here that you have been in several other scrapes before. Yeah. You know... I think it stems from the fact that I'm a latchkey kid. We were all latchkey kids. If you have any problems, you can come and talk to me about it. But uh, I don't want to see you in my office again otherwise. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. She'll see him again. Spandex? No! Kevin gets a job at the Wonder Wiener where he finds stone conspiracy theories and a love connection. Okay, found the one. Movie over. It's join a club day, and why is there not a turkey club? Why is she wearing a dream catcher? After being spurned by the key club, Kevin goes to the science club, and hey, it's Lucy. And the wizard master, who I guess in the interim discovered hair product. I guess one of our members a couple of years ago, he fried his brains, and membership really took a plunge. I guess he ripped some chick's clothes off at the prom. <laughs> Now, I haven't seen the original in decades, so I'm assuming that was the first movie. And five minutes in, Kevin discovers shit in the wall. And it's Barney's special prune juice! Then Wayne and Cecil arrive for the Save the Science Club plot point. Kevin is forced to drink the unknown concoction, then Lucy delivers the kiss of life. You know, a little less blood, you'd be a great kisser. <laughs> 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 Seriously, we don't need any more movie. They've met, they're kissing. Let's fucking end this. Well, why'd you do it? You don't care about the science lab. Because Wayne is an idiot. Now, I don't know what his girlfriend sees in him. Money? Oh, Kevin is a terrible employee, so his boss punishes him, leading to this. <laughs> My fishy friends. Jim, Tammy, something weird's going on, man. You guys gotta help me. There's a dated reference. And he proceeds to molest a hula doll. But that's not good enough, so he begins a spree at school. Linda Blair! Oh, it's flat! <laughs> what do we do in this situation? Good. Been there, done that. Here we have it. Um, S-P-A-T-U-L-A. Is this all he's going to do with this? Do you think there's liquor in that thermos? And she busts Kevin out. At my prom, he had this trick and he made everybody's clothes fly off. Um, Barney. Barney, Barney Springboro? Yeah. You know she wasn't even in the original film, and I don't even think she shows up later in this one. Kevin then gets busted for nothing but uses his powers and... Ugh. Then he makes a deal with Lucy to market their sweet nectar. The Key Club throws out the Science Club, but Kevin needs the stuff, so they plan on breaking in. Oh no, not Cecil. Sorry, it's a couple drops. Good job. 
Wouldn't it have been easier to just climb through the window and get it? They get the stuff and run into Wayne and issue a challenge that if the science club wins the penguin run, they get their space back. After a pep talk, we immediately go to said penguin run. And yes, it's as stupid as it sounds. A quick recap is cheating, nudity, cheating, the science club wins. But Kevin winds up being a fucking asshole, breaking Lucy's heart. Then she has a little snip of the stuff. Of all the high schools, in all the towns, in all the world, he walks into mine. Fuck you! And shade in the locker room leads to this. <laughs> And they're fucking tossed. Kevin talks to Lucy and then ditches her ass because Amanda shows up and agrees to go to the homecoming game with her. Is that Karen Black? Let me ask you something, little boy. Is your linguine ready for my clown? And just like that, she's gone. Must have owed the producer a favor. My heart has a deep, deep, desire for you. Will you marry me? That's right, a dumb movie just got dumber. That's a night of big game and this is a 90s so Kevin's vest game has to be on point. It's so on point that Amanda realizes that Wayne sucks and Cecil is really the one that cares about her. Then Wayne beats Kevin's ass and Kevin runs into Lucy under the stands. We're not actually going to see a football game because budget. They have a talk and then, ooh. I guess the budget couldn't afford a real montage either. All right, guys, our main order of business today is the booth for the homecoming festival. This school's homecoming feels like it takes two fucking months. Wayne sets Kevin up and it's to the principal's office they go. Any more trouble from you, Kevin? You're expelled. As for the rest of you, this will undoubtedly be a very severe blemish on all of your scholastic records. Listen, kids, none of that bullshit matters once you get into the real world. Wayne makes the science club work the key club booth for the carnival thing, so they decide to poison everyone. Hey, didn't you and I go and, uh, pop a doobie behind the gym together? This is grooming. And Wayne wants Kevin to dress in drag and have tomatoes thrown at him. Oh, a plot point is Kevin is highly allergic to tomatoes. Also, what kind of fucking school allows this? They pull off getting the stuff as Kevin's cheer begins. You can just go around, dumbass. Kevin gets the stuff and uses it to do this. Fire! Then the drugs kick in, and Kevin is immediately expelled. What? Why are you hitting yourself? The assault on Wayne leads him to own up about what he did, and is that Buffalo Bill? Kevin is not expelled, and Wayne flies off like Peter fucking Pan. Oh shit, it's a music video. I barely remember the original Zapped, other than it not being very good. But I get the feeling that Zapped Again is even worse than that. Karen Black and Linda Blair must have wanted a quick paycheck or something because they appear in one scene each and vanish without a trace. It's a dull, tedious slog filled with cliches and really bad acting. Oh, and it's written and directed for shit too. So I guess in a way, it's perfect. I get the feeling someone got the rights real cheap and said, Fuck it. Some asshole ran it. I'll bring along a colossal wiener. You come near me, I break your wiener. 